Okay. What's up, guys? Bearded here. And welcome to Baking with BK. In this episode, we aren't exactly going to be baking, necessarily. But we are going to be making food. Um, some people might not even call this food, but we are going to be making the Wendigo sandwich. Now, most people know the Wendigo as a uh, made-up mythical creature, but this is a harmless sandwich. Now, I say harmless, hoping that it actually isn't bad, but it might be bad. In order to assemble the Wendigo sandwich, we will need the following. Two slices of bread of your choosing. In this instance, I am using whole wheat. Five strips of bacon, mayo, peanut butter, one dill pickle, and a knife. To start, we will set the toaster oven to around 425 degrees Fahrenheit and have both the top and bottom elements set to convect. There is no specific time to be set, just keep an eye on them until it's just right for your taste. While we await for the bacon, we will go ahead and cut up our pickle. Grab your pickle, slap it on the cutting board, and start chopping. Start from the tip and make your way down, cutting in an adjacent manner. Next, we will prep the bread. Grab the mayo and spread it on the slice with no holes. No, the other side. That's the side for the peanut butter. Once you have the slices of bread all lathered up, check to see if the bacon is done. Once it is done, grab your cock and pull out the bacon. Careful, it's hot. Once it has cooled down a bit, place the bacon evenly on the bread. Then place the pickles on top of the bacon and make sure they're spread out. The last step is to grab the other slice of bread and put it on top to complete the sandwich. All right guys, well, I have completed making the sandwich. It was, uh, it actually took me longer than I expected. It smells good. I, I thought of maybe toasting the bread, but I thought, no, I'll, I'll keep the bread soft. And, um, cause I, I, I like, I like toast, but, um, for this type of sandwich, I feel soft would probably be better. So I'm going to pick it up here. It feels, feels a little hefty. Now I need to find a spot that I will get a good ratio of everything. I think I've locked onto my target. I'm gonna give it a shot now. It's actually good. When you first bite into it, of course, the first thing you taste is the pickles. And then the bacon kind of makes its way in. Then you start to taste the mayo. And then the peanut butter just kind of adds a thick base to it. All in all, it tastes fairly sweet, but it's not bad. I think I want to finish it. I was honestly expecting this to go like, I was expecting for it to not taste that great. Considering the combination of what is in here, you guys might just think I'm disgusting, <laughs> but it, it, does, it doesn't taste that bad. Uh... Well, anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy that video. I'm kind of surprised that I like that sandwich. I probably wouldn't make it every day. It has a bit of a weird taste. Like it, It's mostly sweet, but it also kind of has this neutral ground where your taste buds don't really know where to take it, but it's like I didn't I didn't hate it but I probably would not eat that uh, often I basically made this video just for fun I heard about this sandwich at Hellcon from a guy called I think it was uh, Chuck Wendig I think that was his name but I wanted to make this video for the 1,000 subscriber milestone on my YouTube channel uh, I just want to say thank you guys um, it's uh, actually quite a big accomplishment for me I I know I haven't really been uploading like I was before, but Arc Extinction is out. I have been playing it. Uh, videos are coming out. There might even be uh, one Extinction video out already before this video, but uh, I'll be playing on the Gaming Evolved Extinction server and I'll continue 
uh, with uh, the Gaming Evil Vanilla. And I will occasionally live stream uh, Arc Extinction off of my Patreon server. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And check out my other social medias as well as my Patreon and Twitch down in the description. And as always guys, bye from meow. God, I hate this freaking cat.